Hey guys, this is Amber from NotableInk.com and I'm thrilled to be joining Altenew for their May 2019 stencil release blog hop. There's a giveaway on my blog, so be sure to follow along on the blog hop and leave a comment on my website for a chance for that giveaway. Today we're gonna to be using the Heart Builder stencil, the Ombre Stripe stencil, we're gonna be using a sentiment and the die from the All the Hearts die, stamp and die bundle, and then also some pattern paper from the Verdant Walk paper pack. So this was my first time using one of the builder stencils from All to New. They have quite a few of them, and I am hooked. This sucker is amazing. So when I've seen pictures of their inspiration photos for their other stencils that are builder stencils, I was a little intimidated by them. I thought well, that looks kind of like it would be difficult to line up. So not the case. This sucker is amazing. And I was surprised at how crisp the lines were and how seamless the pattern was. So I have it taped from the back and I'm using baby pink. This is one of the pink inks from the spring bouquet ink set that recently was released. So I finished one color. Before you set it down on your project, make sure you clean the ink off because you're gonna flip the stencil over and realign it. So you wanna make sure that you get all the ink off your stencil and let it dry before you put it down on your cardstock. So I've got it all dry and I'm just lining it up with what I've already inked. So you line up those hearts and line up the um, straight lines that come down. I'm lining it up on both sides, again, taping it from the back and then I'm gonna come in with magenta ink for a darker shadow, and this is gonna give it that 3D effect. And these inks blend so beautifully. I do recommend using one of the larger brushes or if you're, if you're using the um, ink sponges, that, that works too. But I find the large brushes are gonna cover more surface area much quicker than your smaller ones. So you just wanna peel that off for the grand reveal and it is amazing. Look how crisp those lines are. I was just so shocked at how easy it was. So I will definitely be getting more of these builder sets. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the large heart die from the All the Hearts stamp and die bundle. And I'm just gonna tape that down. And you can see me think about where I'm gonna put my tape there. That is because I feel like the majority of the time that I tape something to the front of one of my card panels, I totally ruin it. I don't know what it is, but I'm using the good tape and all that good stuff, but I usually end up ruining it. Like it pulls ink off or it tears the paper, whatever the case may be. So I was really happy that didn't happen in this case. So I'm gonna do a two card set and I left this footage in here because I don't end up using this white card panel here because in my mind, this sentiment here reads from the bottom of my, my brain completed that phrase and said from the bottom of my heart, that's actually what I thought it said. This whole time I'm designing here, that's what I have in my brain. So I'm using the new all to new obsidian pigment black ink. This ink is amazing. This is my new favorite ink. The only thing that would make it even better is if it was alcohol marker safe. Um, it's amazing. So this I Love You stamp is from that All the Hearts Builder, or All the Hearts stamp set, stamp and die bundle. And I'm just trying to choose my sentiment here for what fits best, and that is from the Fancy Greeting stamp set. Again, we're gonna stamp in Obsidian Black, and I don't use end up using this card panel either because to me, it just looked super boring. Um, so I'm gonna show these two pieces and then we'll take a look at what I ended up with in the end. Um, before I do that though, so I trimmed down a piece of pink fun foam to slightly smaller, and there you can see like I hadn't let my black ink dry yet, and that's a pigment ink, and even though I put my card front on it, it did not get on the front of the card. I cannot tell you how many cards I've ruined by smearing pigment black ink all over the place, and I was really happy that didn't happen in this at this particular um, card. So 
I'm just, what I did is I put, I cut down a piece of fun foam, I put it behind my card panel and then just traced that heart opening onto the backing paper of the fun foam and then die cut it with that same die. Because I stretched the foam a little bit around that heart, I needed to trim a little bit more off the bottom because it was then just a little bit too long. So just make sure you cut enough off so that you don't need to do that. And I have it adhered to this piece with just tape runner and I'm eventually going to pull that off. Now here is where I'm finally realizing that that doesn't say from the bottom of my heart. So this makes no sense at all. I love you from the bottom of my hello. If your brain has filled in a sentiment like that before, or that's something that you've done, leave me a comment below because I'm feeling like I'm probably alone in this situation. <laughs> so I ended up using a green um, panel that I had made in a previous video and I used that for the center, stamped on sending hugs, but this time I did it in the pink ink. And then I used an alcohol marker to make an ombre effect by adding shading to the bottom of those letters. Added a few um, Nouveau drops in onyx black there so that I could match the pattern paper that I decided to use for the other card. So this black and white spot pattern paper is from the Verdant Walk paper pack from Alta New, and if I could get an entire pack of just those black and white dots and then the stripes in that set, I would totally love that. That would be amazing. I love this paper. So I just left it with I love you, popped that up again on that foam, a sticky back fun foam that I had cut with the die, and that's a wrap. I hope that you enjoyed this card today. If you did, and you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe and the bell button below so that you don't miss any other inspiration. I have loads of cards for this hop and I will link a couple here for you to check out. And then like I said, be sure to check out my blog post um, and leave a comment there so that you can be entered in the giveaway. Thanks so much for joining me guys.